It's true, our eating habits have changed a lot. I don't think someone born in 1080 would be able to comprehend a Twinkie. You probably wouldn't last long if you suggested a popular foreign food. It's foreseeable that the food we eat will only get stranger as time passes. As the world population grows, many will struggle to find food. New food sources are needed. Let's take a look at the top 10 food sources experts believe will be consumed frequently by 2050. Number 10. GMO Everything Genetically modified foods are a contentious and often confusing issue. Do they help or hurt us? But with the agriculture industry in an unsustainable position, it may very well need the assistance of geneticists to survive. Widespread drought and enormous water usage by crop farmers is at the forefront of the problem and geneticists think they have unlocked the secrets for water efficiency in plant genomes. Wow! Crops can potentially be designed to deal with the conditions of a future drier climate. GMOs can also target the food industry's enormous waste problem. Foods can be grown to be more resistant to bruising and browning, thereby making them easier to transport and increasing overall shelf life. Fruits can be modified to be healthier by increasing their vitamin content, and there's even talk of a hypoallergic peanut. Incredible! Number 9. Lab-grown meat. For those who aren't willing to forego eating meat, your future steak will be lab-grown. You see, animal farming is not sustainable. In fact, it uses half of the water supply in the U.S. Research has found that meat can be cultured by growing muscle stem cells in a broth made from calf blood. The aim is to create realistic meat alternatives while protecting the environment because greenhouse gas emissions from livestock and filled forest are a big problem facing everyone on Earth. Although expensive now, prices of lab-grown meats have been dropping significantly over the past few years and should continue to do so. You'll be able to enjoy a juicy burger knowing that an animal hasn't been slaughtered in the process of making it. With lab-grown meat, you can have your cake and eat it too. Number 8. Sea Veg As we all become more aware of sustainability issues and the hormones being used in meat supplies, plant-based diets are coming to the fore. But with this rise in consumption of crops comes the issue of over-farming, which affects the quality of the minerals and vitamins present in our healthy veggies. A promising prospect is eating sea vegetables, which is really just a more appealing way of saying seaweed. The ocean is a long way off being over-farmed of marine plants, so sea vegetables like nori, kelp and wakame could be our new broccoli, beans and potatoes, well, sort of a saltier version. Sea Vage is nutrient-rich and has a small footprint. That means more Sea Vage can grow in much less space than our usual crops. It also has no need for fresh water or fertilizers and is very resilient whether it's kelp noodles instead of linguine or a strain of dolls, which tastes like bacon when cooked. Sea Vage is coming. Number 7. Synthol. How many times have you had to bail on plans because you were too hungover to leave your house? The good news is that those familiar hangovers which reduce us to useless messes for a day or three could be a thing of the past. A college professor is developing an alcohol alternative designed to give the same buzz as alcohol, but without actually getting us drunk, thereby avoiding the horrible after effects. The chemical structure of Synthol is like that of benzodiazepine, which is in the Valium family and is used to treat anxiety and insomnia disorders. Synthol, also known as Alcosynth, will potentially be a hundred times safer than alcohol, as it will be virtually toxin-free. This is not only good for our livers and how we feel, but should also reduce alcohol-fueled violence as well. Number 6. Weeds Weeds are abundant so it makes sense. We would find a way to get them on our plates. If they're prepared correctly, of course, because if they aren't, they can make you very ill. Interested in how they can be prepared? There are a few sites dedicated to helping people do just that, like eatweeds.co.uk, which shows us how to eat dandelion leaves as an alternative to spinach or how to make an oil from the pollen of male pine cones. A bit scared of the toxic weeds. No problem, give Purslane a look in it. It has thick, glossy leaves, which are high in omega-3 fatty acids, and it's super easy to prep. Lab tests have shown that weeds will be able to thrive in the environmental conditions expected for the Earth in 2050, such as increased carbon dioxide levels and higher temperatures. This is thanks to their adaptive genetic characteristics, which we have considered an inconvenience for so long. Number 5. Miso You're probably familiar with miso soup from getting a fix at your local sushi joint, but there are potential benefits of eating miso that we've previously been unaware of. 
Miso is made from fermented soybeans, rice, or chickpeas, and is typically used in paste form. Why is miso going to be a food of the future? Because of its superpower protecting us from radiation injury. A study using rats and mice found this to be beneficial for preventing cancer, such as liver cancer in men and breast cancer in women. It can even help with hypertension. We already know miso to be healthy due to its abundance of protein, vitamins, and minerals for it to work in protecting us from radiation. One thing is for sure, we must be eating it regularly in forms that have been fermented for at least 180 days before being exposed to radiation. It seems the longer the miso is fermented, the better its effects are. Choose an organic meso and don't heat it so that you obtain probiotic benefits as well. Number 4. Alga Some say we can obtain all our nutritious requirements from plant-based sources, so why seek out strange meat alternatives? If you like the sound of this, here's an interesting new plant-based food that will be cropping up in your future. Alga Like the idea of eating sea vegetables, Algae are a sustainable form of low-tech food that can ease the burden on over farming our earth. Alga can be farmed in pools and are in fact much richer sources of nutrients such as antioxidants, vitamins and calcium than regular fruit and vegetables. Two edible types of alga are spirulina and chlorella. Wondering how you would eat algae and enjoy it? There's a host of recipes already out there using spirulina in smoothies, pastas, omelets and even desserts. If you're wondering what the difference is between seaweed and alga, know this. Seaweed is a group of alga, but not all alga are seaweeds. Alga can grow in seawater, fresh water and not so fresh water. Seaweed can only grow in seawater, clear as mud. Number 3. Insects. Not convinced you want to exist on a diet of only plant-based sources? No problem. There's an abundance of bugs and insects in the world for you to feast on feeling icky at the thought of eating a bug hole. While many cultures already do this, food of the future will likely entail processed insect powder, which can be used to replicate other meat forms. In fact, there are Israeli companies who have already started creating insect-based foods. Insects are a source of high-quality proteins and amino acids, so there is a lot of nutritional benefit to this idea. Importantly, they have a high food conversion rate, meaning they require much less food than other animal sources and therefore farming them would have less of an impact on Earth. The insects, which seem to have a lot of potential at this stage, are mealworm beetles, grasshoppers, caterpillars, and silkworms. Number 2. Soylent Soylent absolutely fits the brief for a food of the future. It's not only sustainable, which is great for our planet, but the product is an actual tech food, futuristic indeed. Soylent is attempting to disrupt the food industry with a manufactured product, it's essentially a mill replacement product that has been developed with a view towards sustainability, better health, waste reduction, efficiency, and affordability. The product has been designed to meet the human body's nutritional requirements. In other words, it's proposed that you can survive on this formula for the rest of your life and get all the nutrients you need to live a healthy life. Soylent doesn't require refrigeration and has a shelf life of over a year. It also doesn't contain any animal products or any cholesterol. It only has low glycan index carbohydrates and uses algae oil for sustainable healthy fats. Soylent has a subtle sweet flavor, but you can also flavor yourself by using the powdered form to which you add water. Coffee lovers can even get their hands on caffeinated varieties. The fact that it is pre-packaged and available in drink form, so you can eat it on the go, gives it huge potential in our increasingly obsessed with convenience culture. Number 1. Edible Water Bubbles this is by far the most fun food of the future called Yuho, the edible water bottle. This is drinking water with a difference, instead of unsustainable plastic bottles and wasteful packaging that damages the environment. This water is encased in an ingenious membrane made from edible natural seaweed extract. In fact, its biodegradable qualities are the same as a piece of fruit, four to six weeks. Great news if you decide to start a Yuho water balloon fight. They are made by dipping frozen spheres of water into the edible solution. As the ice melts into water, the membrane provides a water seal around it. This is fantastic news for the environment, if people get on board. While it's not entirely practicable in terms of storage, this single gulp product could make an enormous difference for festivals and sporting events where water is consumed on the spot. Choose to either devour the entire sphere or bite into it and sip the water out. The choice is yours. Bring on 2050 and some exciting new food options.
Which one did you want to try? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to this channel. We'll be making more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching.